Alrighty folks, so I uh, just want to try something here. Um, had a few people very recently in uh, via emails and things and comments mentioning the fact I've always got a rooster in the background. So I figured I'd give you a quick tour of the uh, flock that we have. So uh, this is our turkey tractor. Um, it's uh, eight feet long and four feet wide, made of dimensional lumber. And hey, look, turkeys. So uh, these fellows, uh, I think it was end of June that we got them. Um, they're freezer flock, of course. So um, you can see we've got a little bit of a, of a lattice work along the side that's just plastic lattice. The idea is it keeps predators from digging, trying to get underneath. We do have foxes and weasels and raccoons and things. So we've got um, a drip water right there and a hose to a five gallon, 20-ish liter bucket. So we just pour water in the top and that means they've got lots of water. And the back of it is fully enclosed with some vent holes as you can see. So that lets them uh, have a place to, to roost in the dark. We have a feeder back there. And these fellows are terribly curious. So if I put the camera down here, they'll all come over and take a good look. So you get a good look at turkey beak. So this is a very close view of turkey. They're remarkably cute animals, and they're actually relatively they're relatively smart. Um, you hear all kinds of dumb turkey jokes, but um, this is a, uh, a heritage breed. I'm not sure which one. I'll have to double check with Chris. But uh, yeah, they're uh, fun actually. Um, you, we let them out. We've got a door at each end of the coop, one here and one in the back corner, and uh, we'll let them out for a little run around the property and things like that. So the idea is that uh, about every two days we move the tractor its own length ahead somewhere else. And that way they get some fresh grass and stuff and they don't do too much damage to the lawn. So it avoids the scorched earth problem that you have with most poultry runs. Um, we've got it under an oak tree as you can see here right now to give them some shade. So this is the main chicken coop. It's a fairly sizable piece of work. Put this up. So there we are. And you can see, so water. Well, chicken's taking a, uh, taking a little break. Nest boxes in the back. Um, and yeah, hanging feeder. So um, I think this is three sheets of plywood for the floor. So uh, eight by twelve. Yeah, eight by twelve. I think might be bigger. I'd have to double check. Lots of windows. Lots of ventilation. And over here. We've got a little chop door, is what I call it. Um, that's one of our roosters. This fellow down here is Demon. And uh, anyway, so the idea is we can just unhook over here, up to that, and it lowers the door down, closes the door for night. The um, building is raised up on concrete blocks. That gives... Um, plenty of clearance for them to go underneath and uh, get out of the sun. So we got different breeds, um, uh, Easter Eggers, uh, I think he's a Cornish, that's uh, Denny. Um, we have some Naked Necks, uh, that's an Easter Egger over there. This uh, lady right here is a another breed called a Chanticleer, it's a Canadian heritage breed. All these breeds, um, except these chaps here, uh, the brown ones, are all um, heritage breeds. The um, brown ones are um, industrial birds that we got in a sort of on a rescue kind of arrangement. Someone didn't pick up their order and so we got them cheap so they wouldn't wind up uh, going to waste as it were. Um, that's a Siberian pea shrub which we planted this year. Um, the idea is it's there to provide some shade. And that box over there um, with the screen on it is a clover. So they've got a, a basically a little legume garden that they can, they just mow it down as it grows up. And you can see that uh, the area inside the chicken run is pretty, pretty wrecked. It used to be green grass, but uh, chickens are hard on grass. They scratch, they pick. So we come in here and you get an idea about how big the run is. And of course these fellows, these ladies and gentlemen will happily follow me all over the place. I like having the door here opened up. And this is a bunch of roosters, which are our other part of the freezer flock. Um, now this building is noticeably smaller, but they spend a lot of their time outdoors. Um, so these guys are the same age as the turkeys. 
So we've got a, a hanging water over here that we fill up, keep lots of water in it, and we keep uh, at least one other tank down there with water in it, a couple feed tanks. And this all gets serviced every day, at least twice a day, so they've got lots of everything. This is our, uh, our fallow garden. We're in the process of adding a second garden. The idea is we're going to do rotational gardening, so we've got a broad fork. We're in the process of turning this over. So this year, this is all part of the chicken run. We let the chickens come out here and play and pick and weed and debug and things for us. And you can see over here, there's another, uh, that's another chop door for the, uh, for the rooster coop. What's interesting is that the chickens have all learned which coop they're supposed to be in. We don't actually see, during the day, they'll wander back and forth between each other's coops. But as soon as it gets to be nighttime, they uh, happily file back to their own respective coops. We don't have to chase anybody out of any, anybody out of anything. So that's, uh, that's our chicken operation, our chicken and our turkey. Um, we were uh, doing a few other things. We're over here, we're in the process of expanding our garden. So the idea is we're going to do rotational gardening. So this is going to be a keyhole bed. We've got some cinder block beds we're going to put down the middle, but they're all going to be raised beds. Um, and then doing uh, mulching using um, the waste uh, wood shavings that come out of the coops. So the idea is that with um, the amount of wood shavings we produce in any given three to four month period, we can keep a fairly good layer of very enriched um, wood shavings down as a, as a mulching and top dress layer. So yeah. A little garden here is what my, what Chris calls the chicken garden. It's all kinds of stuff. It's all edibles. Um, there were even we even even the flowers, the nasturtiums, and things that you see. It's all stuff that's uh, edible. So every once in a while, we'll open that door up, open the inside door up, and just let the chickens out and play around the yard. And they'll happily come in through here and decimate this. And uh, the ro roof on the uh, on the chicken coop here is fairly st sl severely sloped. And of course we've got a rain gutter to catch and we keep about 100 gallons of rainwater. So all the water we use for the poultry, both the turkeys and the chickens, generally is rainwater. Um, unless we need to do something like cleaning because a, a lot of it's just easier in many cases instead of using soup to use, uh, sorry, soap is to use pressure. And we only get about a PSI with the, with the drums at that height. So uh, for pressure sometimes we'll go use the garden hose which is well water. But yeah. That's, uh, so that's the poultry operation for those folks who are interested. Uh, take care, and thanks very much. Bye-bye.